All right, Sunday morning. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Where's my phone? Crystal already lost her phone. Second time today. It's the second time today. Anyways, like I was saying, Carla here has some special condition where she can't eat gluten. Uh, when was the last time you had gluten, Carla? Eight. Eight months. Eight months ago? Eight months. You haven't like slipped and eaten something that has gluten. Maybe, because you know sometimes there's certain stuff there's that stuff. has stuff that you don't know about, but... Yeah. But you would know, no, or like it doesn't make you horribly no. sick. It's right. Just, it's not like a peanut allergy where like my throat closes die. up or anything. Yeah. You're not gonna die, but you're just not gonna be healthy. Yeah, I'm sensitive to it. You're sensitive. Yes. How hard has it been finding gluten-free stuff? It's hard, especially since I live in the middle of nowhere. Oh. I have to drive to like either Fresno or Bakersfield, so it takes a while. Wait, wait, but the, like the restaurants don't have that in the menu? Her mother cooks. My mom cooks, Jehu. I, I have somebody who cooks for me. Well, well yeah, yeah, but not 100% of the time, right? Right, so I have to go to like... This is how bad it was. We went to McDonald's this morning, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah. Proving that they actually had an option for gluten-free. Oh. Uh, or, well, well, yeah, you but know. this is the city, though. Over there? Well, well McDonald's the McDonald's is everywhere. Do they have that in all the McDonald's? Yes. What is it? It's the um, egg white delight, and it uses an English muffin, which has mm -hmm. less Giant -like. gluten than regular bread. Oh, that is mine. Let's go some more. Wait, so if you were to start writing all stuff down in a list, which I'm sure you have done, right? Right. Right. Which list is bigger, the stuff that you can't have or the stuff that you can have? Um, it's probably be the same amount because <laughs> it's not too much. There's different varieties to what I can have. Can you have onions? I don't like onions. You don't like onions. So I don't have onions. So then you have to get the stuff that you can have and then cut in half because you probably don't like half of that. Exactly. So there's a process to everything I eat. Ridiculous. Why do you choose to be this way? <laughs> I didn't choose she, to be this way. She likes to make life difficult. <laughs> she was, her life's kind of boring up in Porterville, so yeah. she needed to add some... Some drama. Drama to it. Hmm. Yeah, you could just be like me. I could pretty much eat it, except milk. And I can't have corn. Oh, that was God. Big Graduation? We're hoping that she's gonna be okay eating that. All right, guys, it's time to do another teardown of an EV component. This time I'm gonna do the steering rack. You see this guy here? Yeah. This one has electric assist. It's got a motor that will aid while turning the steering wheel. Um, it seems like it, it is a standalone system. Here is the, uh, here are the electronics, the controller. There's a sensor here that senses torque it's being applied and then it, it adjusts the motor accordingly and so this is what manages all that stuff um i think it's, it's like power in right here there's two big cables and then there's three little cables three little cables that we don't know where they're at where they're going until we you know we until we check that guy um and see where they're going um but I, I just quickly connected power into these two cables and turned this and it didn't assist. So it needs to be, it needs some kind of signal in here. We don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. For now though, we can totally take this apart so that we can see how this motor runs. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I'd still like to see it. So let's do that. Let's take this guy off. 
this thing. You see these little things here? Okay, all right, so look. Here's what it seems to be. There are these three rings, which seems to be some the encoder, right? And so there's some, there's some amount of deflection. Right now, when you turn this, this, this deflects and turns slightly more than this one. And this one probably turns more than this one. So the more, the harder it is, and the more torque you see here, the more deflection that you see. And that is picked up by what I would guess is this. These rings right here are probably Hall Effect sensors. And so it essentially this is a rotary encoder. And there's three of them. Oh, there, let me see. Seems like there's two in there, but maybe three. I don't know, it seems like maybe two. And so, it knows the difference between the top layer and the bottom layer. And so maybe it takes the, the amount of deflection to then, uh, and then the, the direction in which is deflecting to then adjust and send power to this motor. And then this motor, uh, you know, turns to turn this guy. Well, this seem to be really nice gears. For our application that we're gonna need, we're gonna need this motor to be able to do the entire steering so provide all the torque and so the cool thing about this design is that if this motor does not have enough torque i think we could always change it nope now i don't have the right tool for that so i basically just stripped those down out yeah but it seems like we could probably take this off take that motor add another one a second one like just like this or add a bigger motor and then run that off of this encoder all right, this one is not that uh, interesting, but it's pretty promising. These steering racks are pretty nice. They're kind of small, but they will do, you know, medium to small to medium cars fine. Right, guys next video is gonna have to do with this you see that that is a battery that I'm gonna put on the wall and then I'm going to cover it with this guy you see that yeah all right so anyways I'm gonna make a video about how to put it together, how to connect it, what does it mean, how much it would cost, uh, wh why you would want to do it. Um, and it's gonna be called the DIY um, power wall. So my aim, this is gonna be the first video that I am gonna actually attempt to make go viral. Um, most of my videos, all I do is just shoot them, upload them, uh, you know, edit them and then upload them and then I forget all about them. You know what I mean? I go and check the, the comments and stuff here and there, but there's not much in the way of trying to share and trying to get people to share these videos. I, I never done that. And so I understand that is the next step that I need to figure out in my channel. My channel has enough content, enough well-produced content to really be growing. My, my channel is growing about 30 subscribers every, every day. It's about a thousand subscribers every month. Um, and so now I just need to leverage that by, you know, orchestrating this thing where you try to get the most video, the most views that you can get so that it gets picked up by the news outlets and then, you know, it goes viral and then a lot more people. So 
that's the next step in trying to kickstart or trying to, yeah, to kickstart the growth of my channel and stuff, without, which is what I'm trying to do. And so I'm going to ask you guys to, so I'm not going to post any more videos until this video is ready. I'm going to work on it. It's going to be really good. Once it's ready, I might post another video giving you guys instructions as to what to do. I need you guys to share it with everyone. If you guys know anyone that it has, that is influential, uh, that has, uh, you know, anyone at Gizmodo, anyone at any of the tech blog sites on the internet, then I'm going to ask you to like, please share it with them and stuff. And so I'm going to do the same thing. Everyone that I know, everyone that could potentially help me, I'm going to send out an email uh, with instructions and as to when it's going to go up live and, you know, to, you know, kind of ask for help and see, see what we can do. See if we can make this video go viral. If any video that I've ever made has a chance of going viral, I think this one will be because uh, the power wall is kind of in the news all the time. It's not available. Uh, I think people would find it, you know, entertaining, uh, educational, and would just get a kick out of some guy making a, their own DIY uh, power wall and go to the trouble to actually make it not just put a battery in the wall, but actually try to make it look cool. The aim into this thing is to make it look cool. We're going to take some cool pictures. I have some ideas as to how the video is going to be done. So it's going to be a good one and I'm going to need your help. So please stay tuned so that you can be ready to help me and, and spread this video as much as you can by sharing it on all the media platforms, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, and if you know anybody that has connections to the big blogging websites, then, you know, emails. I'm going to ask you guys to email them and share it that way too. All right, guys, we'll see you guys till next time. Hopefully soon. Okay, bye. We'll be back next week at the same time. Rock and roll. No, what is that? No, I don't like that. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Also think about becoming our patron by following the patron link uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right guys, see you guys tomorrow.